Hi, I'm Spencer Schloff, sports media assistant here at Cal State Fullerton with head coach Kelly Ford. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. The season so far has been up and down this, this season. What can you tell us about the team after the first 19 games? It's crazy to think about already through 19 games. That's just about a third of our season is already complete. And my goal going into this piece of the season is was really to prepare the athletes for conference. And that starts the end of the month. But this team is full of um, just character athletes. Um, I've definitely learned that. I am, I'm pleased with where we're at right now. I think we have a shot of after this weekend um, coming above 500 and my goal going into conference was to be 500. So we have you know some really great tournaments coming up, some incredible competition and that's a characteristic that I've seen from these athletes. They like to compete as you can see from uh, a couple big wins that we've had recently. They um, seem to rise to the occasion. Uh, that's a great characteristic to go into conference play with. You talk about competing in the big wins against UCLA and Missouri. What has your team learned from those, those key upsets? They, they've learned to believe. You know, they know they have it in them. And uh, we have had some, you know, let's talk about the UCLA win. That was a pivotal moment in our program. Um, not only for our current um, players and the current, you know, Titan team, but for the future you know, to show that we could do that and so capable of it. And then in the same week beating um, Missouri, just again, just a confidence builder and showing them what they're capable of and what I've seen in them. And now they believe it, you know, so it's, it's, those were huge wins for our program. You got two wins last weekend in the Eastern Invitational that we yeah. hosted here at Anderson Family Field. What, what did you learn about your team after last weekend taking on some big competition? Yeah, the Indiana-Wisconsin in particular was um, a great win because we, we split a two-game series with them. And they were on a roll. They were on like an 11-game winning streak. And we came and um, just, again, another example of stepping up. Um, and competing in, you know, when their number was called. So I think those two wins are what we're taking with us into next weekend. We, we had a, um, we were just off our game on Saturday. And, you know, those days are going to come. And we've got to address them. And guess what? Saturday's, um, last Saturday's games, that's what we're taking into practice this week. So those are our pieces that we get to work on throughout the entire week to prepare for the Long Beach State, you know, tournament that we're going into, you know, coming up on Thursday. Talk a little bit about your pitching this season. Um, you've got some great production from a freshman, Jasmine Antunes, and Desiree Yabar is back. Talk about them a little bit and how the pitching has helped this team get some quality wins. You know, I think that's been our mainstay. You, they have, um, it's been a pleasant surprise on the, uh, in, the, in the pitching circle. I am thrilled with Jazzy. I mean, you know, talk about a freshman that just has stepped out there. She's, she's got like ice in her veins. It doesn't matter what is going on. That girl wants the ball. And you can see with the number of starts that she's had, I think she's probably started, what, like 90% of our games this season. And then getting Desi back off of her um, surgery. You know, we got her back a little sooner than we thought. My goal was to have her ready to rip for conference. And she came back about three to four weeks earlier. And you can see what an impact she's made, having a power righty and a lefty, off-speed lefty like that. It's a great combination. And then what a surprise um, with Katie great surprise with Katie this weekend um, coming off of shutting down Iowa in the innings on Saturday. Just an awesome performance. So I am thrilled. That has been our strength pitching this season. The hitting has started off a little slow, but what adjustments did you guys make and which players came out and, you know, produced some runs for you guys? Gosh. You know, it, is, it was crazy on, on uh, one, one lineup that we had uh, Friday. It was all lefties. You know, all of a sudden I looked down, the first one through nine, all left-handed hitters. So it's a combination of, of the short game working the speed with Ashley, you know, Carter leading us off. And, and we found a spot for Ariel, um, not necessarily a slapper, but a hitter in that two spot, that nice. I like, I like having the lefties in the top of the lineup. And, again, like we look down our lineup, there's quite a few lefties in there. But having that power in the middle and then speed again at the end of the lineup. Um, E's coming along, you know, Eliza's coming along, great. Um, Ariel, Eliza, you know, uh, Melissa is about to c become uh, on fire at the plate. I know it. She's just like been working so hard every day and she's going to turn the corner. I'm just, you know, and then, oh, Desi, you know, there's our three hitter right there out of nowhere. When she came back off of her injuries, that gal, that, that gal's, uh, She's a threat every time she swings the bat. She's got the potential to take the ball out of the park. So it's been fun to watch her come into her own with the bat. With the upcoming schedule, we play in the Garmin tournament next weekend that we host. And then we have a conference play. Talk a little about the schedule and the, the goals for the rest of the season. Yeah, um, the Garmin tournament, I mean, talk about 
packed. <laughs> you know, that, that, um, the competition at that tournament is absolutely going to gear us up for conference play. And that's what I'm, these next two tournaments, I'm kind of um, selling it to the team as regionals. Because our ultimate goal is to make it in the top 64. So we're looking at this tournament, this Long Beach State tournament, and then the Judy Garmin as regionals and super regionals. Why not? Um, to prepare us for conference play. And, and there's no doubt, to be the best, you, you gotta play the best. And that's exactly what we're doing. I mean, I, I, as you, at, by the time we start conference, I think half of our opponents are in the top 25. It's pretty amazing. Thank you.